Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to help fix some common Windows update errors you might be experiencing. Now whether the updates might not be able to install or you cannot configure the updates properly, this tutorial should help you out. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to our start button and we want to type in services. You want to left click on that. In the services list, the first item you want to look for is background intelligence transfer service. We want to make sure that this is enabled to run automatically. We can see right over here it's set to disabled. So I'm going to double click on this. And then underneath startup type, I'm going to switch this to automatic. And then I'm going to click on apply and OK. Now I'm going to head down this list until we get to the Windows Update service. So I'm going to double click on it. Under Startup Type, again, Automatic, Apply, and OK. And the last one here, under Workstation, this one is also disabled. We want to enable it. Double click, Startup Type, Automatic, Apply, and OK. At this point, if your Windows updates are still not working, make sure that the services are running. If they're not, you can always double click on it again. And let's say, for example, if it's stopped and it's not working and it's a service that is stopped, you want to just start it up. So we'll click on the start button. So make sure all the services that we've gone through are all started up. If that still has not fixed your problem, what you can do at this point is head over to the start button again, type in msconfig, left click on that, or click enter, and then under the services tab, you want to check mark this little box next to hide all Microsoft services, and you should safely be able to disable any one of these services, and you can go trial and error by going down the list, or you, if you wanted to disable all of them and then click apply, and then OK. If you wanted to see if that fixed your issue, and then you could just enable these services one at a time. I mean, that's always a possibility, so that might be able to get down to your problem. So these three different methods we went through, there's no guarantees that this is going to directly fix your problem. There's a wide variety of issues, but hopefully this will encompass most of the common issues that you guys will be having. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next video.